hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn june month flower so usually the rose is the june month flower but i recently got to know that honeysuckle is also the june month flower this comes in a group having multiple flowers in a single group so we need to do very simple things for the today's drawing i'm using this gel pen if you don't have this just skip it and use normal ball pen or pencil for that matter now let's learn how we can draw flowers and flower birds because this is the combination of multiple birds and few open flower in it so for the bird you need to create something like this in a different different angle one pointed end and one round shape on the another end so this might be tilted towards left and right maybe towards down side as well so totally uh, depend on your composition and you can draw these things easily i will show you the actual flower later but this is something we need to do now we also need some open flower these flowers are simple but in different different direction we need to draw this flower having conical kind of shape just like a bird itself but uh, this time one side is little broader as compared to the uh, another side and we don't need to draw a round kind of shape at the end we need to create two petal shape in this particular form tilted towards down side and one smaller petal so we need only two petals this might come in multiple ways this is the most common one and then multiple stamen in between this stamen is important for these particular flower because it has very dense stamen in the middle now let's say this one is facing towards the right side so petals are on the right side so one broader petal or big petal and one smaller petal tilted towards down side and multiple stamens in between so these are the flower which we can see clearly tilted towards left and right but what if you are seeing that flower or you are facing that flower right so you just need to draw the petal shape assuming we are not seeing the conical shape we are just seeing the petals so one bigger petal one smaller and multiple stamen at the center so something like this you can do and you can arrange this anywhere from where you are seeing these flowers now let's assume this is one which is in the upward direction so we are only seeing the one big petal assuming the smaller petal is hidden and multiple flower buds in between so this is something we need to do for the flowers now for the leaves all the leaves are attached to the main stem so i'm going to create few leaves below to the flower and few bigger leaves attached to the stem like this so this is something we need to do for the leaves it's quite simple as far as leaves are concerned flowers are also simple you just need little bit practice now let's compose one flower i'm going to show you how we can paint these flowers in the next video but for now let's learn how to compose all these flowers together whatever we have learned so far based on that so i am creating one stem you can create only one flower you can create multiple flowers for now i am creating two flowers or two group of flowers one is having only flower buds and another one is having flower buds with little bit of open flowers as well so you can create one uh, structure like this uh, wherein we are going to create all the flowers attached to this particular structure now this one is filled with flower buds so i'm only going to create few uh, buds here in different different direction mostly tilted towards the center so for example if your buds is on the left side so it means this should be tilted towards the right side and if your buds are on the right side so it should be tilted towards the left side so basically the buds are tilted towards the center and create multiple few could be smaller few could be little bigger and few could be downwards direction 
and likewise we can draw multiple flower buds attached to the round kind of shape so this is the center of the flower then all the buds are attached with this particular uh, round kind of structure and create two leaves just below to the flower okay so this is the one flower or a group of flower i am going to create one more flower having open flower or bloomed flower i should say but before that let me complete this one first so i am using this 05 mm gel pen just to outlining the stems creating leaves and creating all these structure that we have drawn so far you can use normal ball pen as well it's totally fine do not need to worry about these fancy pen uh, you can start with the pencil itself because anyways we are going to learn how we can paint this flower so no need to worry about the fancy pen you can do little bit of modification while outlining these things Let me create few more leaves here. So I'm creating group of 3 leaves attached to the main stem because I have seen like this only while googling it. I have not seen these flowers in real, but when you google it, uh, so many versions of these flowers are available. And create two big leaves here. These are also attached one is at the back side and one is at the front side so i did one thing wrong here i have created stems which is uh, actually the leaf is on the front side so you don't need to create stems over it but i have already created stems so i cannot do anything about it now about uh, the beautifying these things it's totally optional but i'm creating few solid lines and few dotted lines into the flower buds and leaves as well and these lines are in the direction of buds itself so if your buds are facing towards the right side your lines are also should be in that particular direction do not create a straight line so little fancy things here and there just to beautify this stuff otherwise it's not necessary so i'm doing few solid lines few dotted lines for all the buds and leaves i'm going to repeat this for the other flower as well now let's create the main flower so this particular flower is the combination of closed and open flower it means the bloomed and the flower buds so i'm creating little bit of outlining just to understand until which area i need to extend my flowers and creating flowers like i have explained you earlier in the initial phase of this particular video so create a conical kind of shape having two flower petals in it one bigger one smaller tilted towards the downside and multiple stamen in between so these are the things we need to repeat for other flowers as well let's create one more this is tilted towards the right side and two petals one little bigger having scalloped uh, edges and one smaller uh, let me create one more here which is a uh, little bit tilted towards the left side so i'm repeating the same thing the only difference is sometime i'm creating the bigger petal towards right sometime towards left so these things you can do while creating all these flowers and create multiple flower buds for this particular one as well because i have seen 
one group having multiple flower buds and a couple of uh, flower which is already bloomed so we need to try this combination for this particular group of flower this in this one we can see only one petal having uh, bigger in size and create few flower facing towards you that's why we are not seeing everything we are just seeing the petals and the center of the flower you can add many birds in between as per your need as per your choice let me correct this one i think this one is little bigger so i want to keep it little smaller so that's the reason i like to do things uh, in the pencil first and then i trace everything with the help of pen so again i am tracing it with the help of gel pen this one is little bigger 05 mm you can use normal ball pen as i always say this in my videos so let's trace everything quickly now let's add little bit of shading in it uh, i'm repeating the same thing what i did for uh, other elements for today's drawing creating some solid lines some fine lines some dotted lines uh, creating stamina in between uh, this is very important for honeysuckle because uh, i have seen these things are quite visible so stamina is important so create stamina for all the open flower we don't need to create this for the closed one and a little bit of shading here and there like we did for every other element let's quickly do it i think we are almost done with the drawing so for the next video just create one composition having some open flower and some closed bird and then we are going to learn how we can paint all these flowers in a very easy way let's rub all the unwanted pencil mark and we are done so hope you have liked this video and do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me thank you so much for all your love and support and commenting on my videos thank you so much for your lovely comments and see you guys in the next video